Mr. Boland? It's been such a long time. I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Huh? The helicopter. I remember. I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful! Damn it! Helen? It's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? Not a good time. Tell them get over here. Shit.
Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. Call me when you're ready to come out. The timer. robber would just take a hostage, then we could shut the damn thing off.
Hey, you! Freeze! Drop the piece! for the murder of William Sheridan. deposition you even added that you don't feel like a killer how touching but the law doesn't operate on feelings now does it it operates on evidence which I have in spades Emory the snapshots please look at this photograph see the impact on the back of the head where did the bullet come from in your opinion that building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror? Or are you finally going to confess to the assassination of... Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? You're not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Roland... What the hell's going on here? Hey! Just... Don't move. I'll get you out of those cuffs. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank. That's preposterous. Hold on. They just blew up the door. What? Do they realize who they're messing with? Storming the building! And what do they want? I don't know, but they have an RPG.
He's got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry! 110 Sterling Street. Hey, over here. Seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall. Let's go. Here. I'll go first. Now you. Waiting on a call from an informant. He knows where they're holding Carrington. Over there, with the woman. Come on. Here. They're out of range. Use the scope. down the other side. I'll cover you.
directly connected to the assassination of President Sheridan. Investigators have refused to comment at this time. Concerns now shift to the safety of Senator Walter Sheridan. Cowboys just ain't what they used to be. Look out! Sniper! Time to check the view. Let's go. <coughs> Here, take that. I shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. Jones, can you read me? I've got the info. Roger that. What do you got? Carrington's been arrested by General Stepwell. He's being held at Emerald, an isolated army base in the Appalachian Mountains. I still don't know why Stepwell wants to keep Carrington away from the enemy. I'm telling you, they're in there! Give me the RPG! the security system. I can't reach the landing strip. She's taking off with that one. We won't get far in this bird. Alright, here we go. Fort Emerald, 12 o'clock. Tomorrow attack choppers often? You've really lost it, haven't you?
control! Ah! One more down! Rescue Carrington and get the hell out. I'll be waiting for you out back. This can't be good. I told you not to let McDougal take the wheel. Oh! What the? What is your major malfunction? McCall's gonna kill us! Looks like something's going on over there.
open the crates and start sorting the weapons! We load the truck in one hour! Move your asses! Deactivate the four main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts through those ladders. So much for a quiet interest. Really need to waste all the guys. Got me. Colonel McCall is off the rocker.
Tell your men to finish the job. No witnesses. Understand? Consider it done. And what about Carrington? Keep him in the hole. I want the names of all the agents he's working with on the Sheridan case. If he clams up, take his cigars. That'll get the fuck talking.
Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me, son? I've got nothing left to prove with the Spence, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Would someone get my damn cigars? Shut up, Carrington! Why did they stick me in here? Here's your HF transmitter. Jones, can you read me? What? What do you mean, amnesia? Ah, <sighs> oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of them. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. I'm gonna kill him. Ah! Well done. Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. Come on, son, let's find that fuse. Get rid of these clowns. I'll brief Jones. Hey! Anyone seen the storeroom key? O'Neill has it!
clear. Jones is waiting for us down there. Let's get out of here. Did you hear that? Cover me. Plug in the fuse and start this P.O.S. Let's get the hell out of here. Just let us get away. Your amnesia really set us back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards! The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen, there are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president. But his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today, he actually is dead. Well then, who am I? This way! This way, son! Get down! RPG, 12 o'clock! Alert! Take cover! Watch out! There they go again! Okay. Is the coast clear? Yeah, go. The chopper's just past the hill. We're gonna make it. Son. Watch out! Ah! Hey! Don't let me down, son! Go! Watch out! 
The chopper won't stop. I need your help, General. Follow me. Cover us. I'll take a look at the engine. Real fun, General. But isn't it time you told me who I am? General! Come in! General! The Mongols and his men are coming for me! They know everything! I hear you, Kim. Stay inside. We'll get you out of there. This is it for me, General! You hear me? And what kind of mess is she gonna get us into this time? Fly a heading of 270. Kilani Lake is just a few clicks from here. Who was that? An agent working with us on the case. Salam! It was the wrong cabin! We can't locate the target! Keep looking! The Mongoose is on his way! the chopper. Notify us as soon as you see the cabin. I don't get it. According to the map, the cabin... Uh.
Come B. What's in the bag? Shut the fuck up and give me your compass. Uh, I lost it. You... Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy. Get Jim out through the back of the cabin. We'll land the chopper nearby. Don't move. My God, you're alive. Kim, the girl in the fauna. The surgeon did an outstanding job. It's coming too. Increase the dose of the fentanyl. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. How do you feel, son? This is the widow of Steve Rowland, the man whose identity you've taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the Mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. One day, I'll know the faces of those who betrayed him. I want them all to burn. You hear me? Even number one. And I want to find the bastard who put the hit on my friend Sheridan. And why? When they see Steve's ghost, they'll slip up. They might also figure out you betrayed them, Kim. I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. Now it's your turn. Cover me! I found it! Over here!
Now that I'm cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> Pinhead! Pinhead! Macaulay is a pinhead! <laughs> yes, sir, Colonel! <laughs> Has our new patient recovered his wits? So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. Yes, sir, Colonel! Shut up! Relax. Plain Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has he spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. 
Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me. No sudden moves, friend. This. supposed to bring me the soldier. Dr. Johansson's orders. Derek and Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself. That Derek. Hmm. Looks like there's a new kid in here. <sighs>
Oh, wow. What a glorious day. Uh, uh, can, can someone give me directions? Uh, I'm not from around here. <laughs> Eddie? Hey, you? Eddie? Eddie? What the? Wishes you a very fine day. Thank you, Miss Jameson. Please come again. Why won't you talk to me, Miss Jameson? It's not that bad. Come on, put your head back on. I have a brand new line of girdles to show you. Dr. Michael. <sighs> Good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the amnesiac? Still nothing. Good God, Johansson is livid. 
I can't stand him anymore. I'm going to hold. Get him, my wife, and I'll take his pressure. My poodle is having a nervous breakdown. Oh, the poor thing. I remember my <laughs> Whatever, Brenda. See you tomorrow. Congratulate your wife for me. to shoot. Repeat. Permission to shoot. Nurses are scarce in Plain Rock, you know that? <gasps> Damn, me dead. Dirty little punk. <clears throat> huh? Well, number 13. The doctor will see you then. Come on. Time for your dissection course. Over here.
get me out of here, please! Please, help! The Sanctuary. There are 20 of them, some 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to my estate. And as the prestige of these surroundings is in keeping with our ambitions, <laughs> I hereby offer you the opportunity to organize our general meeting here. Hmm. My transmitter. At last. Mm. Please. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mm. He's in there! Mm. Safety's off! Take me hostage! Mm. You don't have a choice! Away from the door. I have a hostage. Wait, he's, he's got, got Karen. Hold your fire! Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there! Hurry! Oh my god! Oh god, save me! Open this door, damn it! What the? Oh. Get behind the wheel, drive! Okay. Just don't hurt me, please! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. This is insane. They're gonna kill you like a dog. Watch out! But I'll never forget you. Hey! Good luck! Who was that? Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard. I sat in the taxi at the bottom of the camp. Get here fast. Meter front. Build it.
Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margarita's on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties. We're going super sunny. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. You won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops, knuckle draggers. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat.
rookies think they're goddamn John Rambo. Where the fuck did McCall get those fools from anyway? Wherever it was, he sure assembled one hell of a crew. Let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General Standwell. He's been causing quite a ruckus since his resurrection, but our first maneuvers are going ahead as planned. I admire your optimism, Colonel McCall. Now, how about a tour of the camp? I'd like to have a look at our weapon stock. Certainly, General. Right this way. Leave to 
night, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland, the man whose identity I took.
plant the bug behind the intercom. No one can see us here. No one. Nothing. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Nah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number 3. Good evening, number 1. President Galbraith still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine will hand it to me at the plaza. Over. Number eleven. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number thirteen? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue this search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. It's a privilege to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. Where McCall plans to send his stock of weapons, but we're gonna blow it up.
Nice work. Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to smoke around the hangar! Watch out! They can blow again! Estimated your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the group. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. It's your only way out. Explosion earlier? Apparently, Steve Rowland did it. Romantic spot for weekend. I mean, who does she think she is? Beauty officer, 
clear the gangway. Stand by for departure. Casting off. Sir, Captain. Submerging. Submerging. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. 
The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. Change your course and cast off from Maryland Harbor aboard Resolute AFDM-10, but carry out your mission. Complete your mission. This is number 17. Carry out your mission. In a few seconds, I'll contact number one. Try to identify the man who answers my call, and we'll finally figure out who number one really is. Number one? Number one? Number 17 reporting. Do you copy? This is number one. What's happening? I passed on the latest plans to number 11. Standing by for your instructions. You weren't supposed to call me until you got the signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Number one. I was so close. I just have to remember his face. USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10. Over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Four and a half submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Here's a nice spot to stow away. Immersion to 60 feet. Check all hatches. Steve Rowland, you are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. Who's there?
Close all hatches. Please don't escort me to the dark people. Alert! Here, this will I be intruder. You'll never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Harrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Up there! Place to be. I better turn back. yourself.
should maintain radio silence. Give him Roland's file, son. Captain Steve Roland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where.
Winslow's just arrived. He should be upstairs in less than a minute. Agents alert, get ready, he's on his way. Oh, 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 oh. Backup units on full alert. Winslow is already there. Practice aiming at him with the shotgun mic. Keep him in your sight. I'm here to ensure your safety, Mr. Winslow. Sensational. We're behind schedule. What's the latest update, number nine? I managed to convince them all. Corporate, finance, even the media. This country's most influential people are ready to support the future regime. I have on me the list of supporters. I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle at the Sanctuary. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And, as anticipated, <laughs> President Galbrain doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> what the? They've spotted us! Willard and Winslow are heading for the elevators! Cut the power! My team's standing by to intercept! <laughs> Returning to the billiard room. Winslow's returning to the billiard room. Come on! This way! The room at the end of the hall! FBI! Come out of there, Winslow! That room has a glass roof! We gotta get above it!
that list of supporters. Get away. of the sanctuary. Their headquarters are Willard's estate. We've got them. Infiltrate the sanctuary and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. No. The champagne still hasn't been delivered and I can't reach Mr. Willer. Hmm. Tell them that's not what I'm paid to do. That's it. Call me back with... Nothing to report. Over. how it feels.
Number one safety is not an issue, General. I'm the only one who knows his identity. Anonymity is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. explain his absence to the guests. I don't know yet. He's not the only one missing.
apart stone by stone and put it back together again on this cliff? Ridiculous! <laughs> talks about his boat. He went on for three hours about caulking techniques the other day. That guy. What the? Uh. Oh. Signal. 
We need as much information as possible before I launch the assault. What the? The maneuvers will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPADS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the bouquet waiting, gentlemen. That's all we need. Leave the sanctuary.
Go all the way to the end of the ledge. Okay. Jump to the ladder. Senator Walter Sheridan? Carrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. There is a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Welcome to SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. Find another way in. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Oh, um, uh, good evening, Colonel.
Yes, sir. Colonel Marshall has left the premises. What the? What the? Yeah, one of their units is already downstairs. Are you serious? I didn't see them go by. Notify Wax. I don't feel like dealing with them. Okay, copy. Calvin Wax requested at Security Station 1. Ah! <sighs> President Gullbrain is requested at the command post. Nothing unusual to report from the command station. 
Galbraith is about to get the green light. Hello? Douglas here. I can't reach the reception area either. This is absurd. I want to know what's going on up there. Come in. You copy? Come in. I can't hear you anymore. Come in. <sighs> What the? Busted coffee machine ate my change. Oh. Oh. What is Sheridan doing in SSH1 during an election campaign? This is sheer provocation. I... Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? <laughs> As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir. The spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! But, Mr. President... Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall! Mr. President... But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you. Here. I was to escort President Galbraith to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find out what's up? Okay, over. Oh. Oh. Why is this door locked? What the?
Operations before it's too late. Take the president to a safe place and find Sheridan. I've lost contact. Right here. Ow! Ow! Mr. Ow! President, can you hear me? Ow! Okay, he's breathing.
to attack! They must be neutralized! Good luck, Colonel. I heard everything. I'll notify Colonel. Wax is number one. We've got him. Teams are in position around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of emergency. When I number thirteen, listen to me. We can still negotiate. Access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. Megatons ready to blow right under us. 
Come on, we've got to leave the base. It's too late. Give me the access code, quick. The code? This way. If I live through this, I'm going into marketing. Damn it! The code! The code! Oh, what is the code? APX420. No, APX604. APX624. That's it! Up to you now. Commencing final phase of destruction sequence. This is not good. Destruction sequence initiated. Destruction sequence canceled. Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Flack? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone.
scare me like that again, and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's evac now. You magnificent son of a bitch. You okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. <laughs> No information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. Here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, How do you like my new uniform? Well? Baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Let's go to the front of the boat, everybody! Wally going. He's gonna see this. Hey, Fly, why don't you go and get him? Spectacular. Number one, do you 
copy. Number one here. I copy loud and clear. Can you see him? Who's number one? Tell me quick! Are the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly?